Hey guys and girls, welcome to another Sunday afternoon chat. I have just simply pulled off uh, the field behind me. I actually pulled off at uh, one of our famous casinos here in Oklahoma, River Winds, which is uh, down by Norman, Oklahoma. I have just come back from Pennsylvania. Started this morning in Cleveland, Ohio. <laughs> I thought, Jimmy, you said Pennsylvania. Well, as a matter of fact, I did. I was at Linesville, Pennsylvania last night. First Baptist Church of Linesville, Allen Wolf. What a great bunch of people. We just had a ball there last night. Had a tremendous game, a wild game feast. Uh, they were uh, giving out the awards for their panfish tournament that they've had that's been on, going on for 30 days. I got to meet all the winners, got to look at the pictures of their fish, listen to their stories, and uh, and sign some of the trophies, actually sign some of the trophies. They gave away a lot of prizes. It was just absolutely a fantastic event. And I got to speak for about 30 minutes. Well, maybe an hour. <laughs> I might have gone an hour. I don't know how long I went. I stayed there till about 10:30. Got back to uh, got back to Cleveland about midnight, and then uh, uh, got up this morning at I don't know four or five o'clock, and, and come on back to Oklahoma, and uh, getting ready to go down to the ranch and see Chris. I'm going to have a little update on Chris here and uh, let you know what's what's going on there. I've got a lot to talk about this week. I'm going to try to run through a bunch of things real real quickly. I probably am going to leave something out. I didn't. Uh, uh, I don't. I'm not too well prepared. Uh, because I've been uh, I've been flying and working all weekend. It was a great weekend. I mean, absolutely fantastic. Got to talk about God and got to talk about Jesus and what Jesus is doing in my life. And visited with some men uh, and women. Uh, after that, visited with some men about some personal situations that they've got going on in their life. And and hopefully used a little bit of the wisdom that I've gained through uh, my Bible study and and my walk with God for well over sixty years now. Uh, that uh, that to, to kind of help them in their life, and and that's what God is all about. God is about putting the right people in the right place at the right time to help you, no matter what. It may be getting a job, it might be getting a promotion, it might be uh, getting your kids straight, it might be getting well, it might be meeting somebody that does or says something that gets you well. And uh, while we're talking about getting well, by the way, we we finally, finally, finally went over twenty thousand on our catch of the day channel over 20,000 on the Catch of the Day channel. Now, that's a lot. Uh, we've been doing that channel now for, I believe, uh, I believe two years. I think uh, uh, two complete years, and maybe I think it's his. And we started the, the Jimmy Houston Outdoors YouTube channel. We kicked that thing off in, uh, in 2019, February 2019. We had an old channel, didn't have a couple thousand people on it. We never posted any videos. I didn't even know we were on it. But uh, somebody had started it for me, I guess. But uh, but anyway, uh, that channel now, of course, is up to 117,000. We have 625,000 on Facebook. It's a little disappointing to me that we don't have more of that 625,000, that we don't have more of that 117,000 that are on other social medias, that we don't have more of them over on Catch of the Day. We've got about 45,000 people on uh, um, TikTok. We started on that back in December. So we've been on there four or five months now, and uh, and some of those people have come over to the Catch of the Day channel, and they've told me they have, and so that's fantastic. So we do not post a Catch of the Day daily devotional from our Catch a Better Life book. We do not post that on TikTok every day. Just every now and then, I'll, I'll do one and stick it up there just kind of as a little sample, hopefully baiting the hook and throwing them out there and working that bait right and, and getting somebody over there that... Uh, needs Jesus in their life, which there's a lot of them over on TikTok that do, I guarantee you, that needs Jesus in their life, that needs God on a daily basis, and get them to come over and look at us on, on our Catch of the Day YouTube channel. But with 20,000 people on there, if each one of you, if each one of you with in the month of May, if it done month of May, this is May 1, in the month of May, if you would just simply get one more person to subscribe to the Catch of the Day channel, if every one of you would do that, um, uh, it, um, it'd mean we'd have 40,000 by the end of May. By the end of May, that's exactly right. So give you a little challenge here. I've got another challenge I want to talk to you about at the very end of this video. Uh, but, uh, but, um, uh, it, it, it'd be so easy to grow this channel to 40,000. Then you could draw it to 60 and to 80 and get it on up there where it would really make a difference in a lot of people's lives. Because I believe sincerely, it's the most important channel on YouTube. Uh, a little quick update on Chris. Uh, some of you mentioned that you're not updating Chris often enough. You're not telling us what's going on. Well, actually, there's so little happening in in um, in her life from an improvement standpoint. She's just taking little tiny baby steps like we've talked about for the last almost 13 months now. 
I mean, we'll get 13, be 13 months here uh, this week in another three or four days. And uh, so uh, she's uh, Stephen uh, McCartney, uh, who is a great physical therapist, comes out and works with her two days a week for an hour uh, each time. Uh, he is now walking with her at the start of that session and also at the end of that session. And he's walking a little bit further. Now she's losing a walker and he's helping her balance. And so she couldn't go very far by herself without falling on her fanny. And you notice I didn't say fat fanny because it's not fat anymore. Well, it never was. Oh, it never was fat. It was always perfect. <laughs> Still perfect. I just tell you. But she would fall on her behind is what she would do uh, if we let her go very far by herself. But she's uh, kicking that leg out by herself. And it's kind of stiff when she kicks it. But she'll bend that knee and then she'll kick that leg out. But she's getting closer to walking all the time. Um, her speech sometimes is just beautiful and her voice is so soft and sweet. I just would grab her and hold her and hug her and cry with her. And, and it's just amazing. Um, so much of the time she's a little girl. She's just a little girl. She's got, um, she's just like a little girl. And the other times she's a full grown woman. I'll promise you she's a full grown woman. So she's got a lot going on up there in her mind and some of those cells heal. And as some of those cells, um, uh, uh, that uh, on her right side program into operator right side. It's made to operator left side. Uh, we are going to uh, do a uh, an NAD treatment with Chris. I can't pronounce it NAD, <clears throat> but uh, the NAD is uh, I kind of in my mind it's sort of like synthetic sin stem cells. Um, we're going to take one of those infusions on Monday the tenth, I believe, which is week after next. We are going to document that whole thing. I asked the owner of that company, do you mind if I document it all and put it on our YouTube channels and our Facebook? He said, no, that'll be fine. That'll be fine. And he said, I'd love to have that. And keep in mind, I, I, I did that partially to see how confident he was in the fact that it might help Chris. They done only a handful of stroke victims with this therapy. They use it for Parkinson's disease to heal damaged stem cells in their brain. They use it for drug addicts, mostly meth, and I'm, the government's probably paying their bill. So it's uh, pretty exp expensive. They want uh, to do 10 treatments, $1,350 a treatment. Uh, but we're going to only do one. And then uh, Dr. Jack, Sherry's uh, husband, Dr. Jack Cassis, uh, is going to uh, be there with us during the entire thing. And he's going to learn exactly how to uh, to mix the drug if you have, if it has to be mixed when it needs to be refrigerated whatever he's going to learn the exact amount that should be uh go in through the uh, through the iv and uh and we're going to bring her back to jack and sherry's house uh, that night uh from little rock and uh and we're going to administer those other uh, eight or ten whatever we do or nine whatever we do um it a lot depends on what she does. I mean, she might do real good the second day and she might not. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Uh, but we, we probably will give her 10 days of that and, uh, and see, and see what happens and see what happens. And, um, uh, so we're going to try that. And of course, then, uh, all we'll be needing to buy is the, uh, the drug. I've got an awfully expensive doctor that will be administering that IV, a very, very expensive doctor that administers that, but, but he doesn't send me a bill. So that's good. All I got to do is love him and be proud that he's a part of the family. And we sure do that. We sure do that. I mean, remarkable man. He really is. But, uh, but anyway, so we're going to do that. We're going to document that totally, uh, as well as we can, you know, we get involved in some of that stuff and I forgot to shoot video. I forget to shoot video. We're going to document it. And if it, I told that, uh, the guy that owned the company and the doctor, I said, you know, if this really works well to help Chris, it's probably going to get you all out of business. If it don't, it might put you out of business. I don't know. So, uh, but, uh, but anyway, it's, uh, the cells that are dead in Chris's brain that was killed by the blood, by the, by the stroke, by the, the brain bleed. Uh, and it should have killed her. That, those, that blood should have killed her. It was enough to kill her, but God saved her. God saved her. And, Y'all praying instantly like you did saved her. Me praying instantly like it did. Uh, all of that. But uh, the cells that is killed, uh, only Jesus can bring back dead dead cells. The cells in her brain that are dead. It doesn't matter what kind of drugs, what kind of stem cells, whatever. What, only God can bring those back to life. And uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm not, would be a bit surprised if he didn't bring a lot of them back to life. I mean, I just believe that. I believe that. But anyway, Chris is improving. Uh, she's staying with me uh, all the time at the ranch right now. Uh, I do have a, <clears throat> a lady that's agreed to come out and help us with Chris. And uh, and she has stopped at Sonic and got a burger. I'm a burger. I got $8 lunch. <laughs> Hard to get a lunch for $8 anymore. But um, 
Uh, Miranda, man, Miranda, I uh, spent, uh, I left um, uh, yesterday morning at three o'clock in the morning. And so uh, Miranda, uh, last thing I did was I took Chris to the bathroom and I put her back in bed and I told her, don't worry, honey, I'll, everything will be fine. I'll see you tomorrow night. So uh, we'll find out how that went when we get back to the ranch. But Miranda has been, uh, been working out there uh, for us uh, uh, several days a week. And uh, uh, last night was the first night that Chris stayed um, where either I, either Sherry or I was not with her since this happened. Sherry and I have been with her constantly uh, all the time. Uh, a night or two when Sherry couldn't be there over at Jack's house, Jamie came and stayed with her. But either Jamie or Sherry or I have been with Chris 100% of the time. Now, we've just simply not left her alone. So so this is a, a new experience for her, and and it took a lot of trust on my part to leave my, my beautiful girl with uh, with somebody else, but I trust Miranda, and uh, she's a nurse. She knows what she's doing, and she's fallen in love with Chris. And uh, when she leaves after she's worked for four or five days, or when she, sometimes she leaves at the end of the day and goes back home and to Sulphur, and sometimes she stays out there for four or five days in a row at the ranch and sleeps there at the ranch and is there all the time. But when she leaves, she always tells Chris, I love you, I love you. And Chris says, I love you too, Miranda. And so golly, it's just, a, that's a big part of it. She's got that caring nurse attitude, um, you know, that, that uh, nurses have to have to do what they do. I mean, to just to do what they do for a living, they've got to love people a lot. But I think she's got a little special love going there for Chris, and, and so that's good. So so God is uh, healing Chris. All of y'all's prayers are, are making a huge difference. Don't stop praying. Don't stop praising God. Praise and pray. Praise and pray. Pray and praise. Praise and pray. Pray and pray. God, however you want to do it. But I believe that God loves the praises, and I know that God answers prayers. Uh, I wanted to mention a few things that we've had videos on here lately <clears throat> that we're getting a lot of uh, a lot of talk about and a lot of comments. One is our Starlink system, which is uh, Elon Musk uh, system, satellite system, internet system. We've had it in now for, I guess, uh, I guess uh, tomorrow will be a couple of weeks. Uh, we've gone through some storms, some lightning storms and stuff. We are supposed to get lightning storms and thunderstorms tonight. And maybe some rain, 90% chance of rain down at the ranch. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm still up in Norman. I'll be getting out of here as soon as I get through with this thing and getting on down there and getting home. But, um, our Starlink system has worked great. Our internet speed is way fast. It costs $110 a month. I did get a bill for it. I actually got a bill the moment that, uh, that we hooked it up. They, they sent a bill and, uh, $110 uh, a month. I paid $500 for the equipment. I think the equipment now has gone up to 600. $110 a month. I was paying $240 a month with HughesNet. Now, $25 of that was for our telephone. We had a landline telephone after a satellite. It wasn't a landline coming in on the satellite on that same dish with HughesNet. And, um, uh, so, uh, two, so we was paying, I guess, $215 uh, plus $25 for the phone. Uh, so, uh, so it's a basically half price, $110 as opposed to $240. Uh, so it's basically half price, uh, that, uh, and, and it's way, way, way faster. I'm uploading videos so quick, get them up to Pat in our production company in Tulsa so he can get them out there to y'all on Facebook and YouTube. Um, and uh, we'll see if so far I have not lost service. I did cancel the HughesNet, so I think yesterday was the last day of that, uh, yeah, that in the end of the month. And so, uh, I'm uh, money ahead on that. I'm money ahead on that deer and buy more carrots. <laughs> and, uh, but uh, the other thing that we uh, did a little video on that we've had a lot of people make comments on is the Nutriplot. The Nutriplot fertilizer that um, Ken Trenum over in Missouri makes. He's sending that out by the truckload to farmers all over the upper Midwest. Uh, it's You can fertilize uh, if you're a big farmer, and he gives a big discount if for buying, you know, uh, truckloads of it. But, uh, or thinking even 50, 50 gallons, I think he gives a big discount, like 30 or 40% discount. But, um but if you're a big farmer and you're farming, fertilizing quite a bit of land, look into that neutral plot. Now you can fertilize for about 20 bucks an acre, about 20 bucks an acre. Now, you know, fertilizers up uh, 90, 100, $110 an acre to fertilize. Now, if you can get it, it's very, very difficult to get fertilizer right now. So, um, uh, if you're, if you're a big farmer, you, you want to check that out. Neutral plot, N U T R I slash P L O T, neutral plot. And, um, I'm sure neutralplot.com, I guess, is what it is there on that. But um, but anyway, um, uh, if you've got a garden, uh, I know stuff like even miracle grows hard to come by now. I think if you put some neutral plot on there, you might quit buying uh, uh, miracle grow. I'll just say that. I've used miracle grow for years, and it's been good. Uh, but uh, we put neutral plot on our garden last year. We put neutral plot on our hay fields. 
and our, our deer plots, we started just using it just on deer plots and it did so good. We just put on everything else. It's, it's doing absolutely fantastically. I may put some in our spray when we spray here, uh, this month for, um, uh, for, uh, God, I lost the, I lost the word, but uh, the bug we spray for in the springtime, I'll think of it here in a minute probably, but, uh, may even put some of the neutral plot in with our spray when we spray, uh, the poison to kill, kill those bugs. But, um, uh, but anyway, that's uh, that's uh, another thing. Uh, uh, those of you that have subscribed to get our newsletter, and I think we're up over, well over 10,000 subscribers now on our newsletter. It's absolutely free. When I say subscribe, it doesn't mean you have to pay anything for it. Uh, we are thinking about and looking into some of this live stuff. The Facebook is trying to get, to get us to do some live stuff, and uh, we're looking at a couple of deals. or subscription deals like... Um, uh, I, don't know, I can't remember the names of all those, but anyway, uh, I'm doing some live deals and having, and having a little small subscription, uh, monthly subscription rate on there that allows you to get on a comment where we don't have a thousand people comment and we just got a few and we can get to all of them and we can talk about whatever y'all want to talk about. We can talk about God and talk about uh, things that's going on in your life and your family's lives and and uh, where we'll be able to answer comments and, and just get on there and talk for 30 minutes or an hour and see what happens. Just see what happens. And um, and uh, Patreon, that was the one I was thinking about. Several people have been trying to get me to do Patreon, and that's a that's a again that's a paid subscription deal where you, some of them start as little as three or four or five dollars a month. So uh, if we do that, we'll start with some we'll have some really low subscription rates on there because um, but we just want to make it somewhere where we can react with y'all a little bit more because just we got so many great friends on our our social media and we appreciate you so much but the newsletter if uh you probably got your newsletter today i got mine today the first so far kyle's got it out every month on the first and he's just doing such a great job he's my grandson and obviously i'm gonna brag at, brag on him but but he's just doing such a great job and uh he he is uh the newsletter is great it's an email newsletter uh if you did not if you have signed up for it and you didn't get one today and don't get one tomorrow you better send us your email again because something's wrong on it because uh like I said, we've got thousands of them now, and uh, uh, well over 10,000 that's on our list. It's growing all the time. If you want to receive that free newsletter, Jimmy Houston Outdoors newsletter, it's got a lot of stuff on it that we don't ever talk about on, on, on YouTube or Facebook or TikTok or anything. It's all pretty pretty good stuff. Got some discounts on there, some things you can buy and save some money uh, as opposed to buying them uh, somewhere else or off our regular website or whatever. So we, we got that, that and... Um, and it's also every sponsor that we've got on there, which is our television show sponsors, all of those sponsors that are on there, you could actually hit their logo on there and go right to their website. So if you want to learn a little bit more about, say, Nutriplot. Uh, now, Starlink is not a sponsor. Uh, we we bought that system, you know, and and um, if they should be a sponsor. I think Elon Musk can afford sponsoring Jimmy Houston Outdoors. <laughs> I think he can, yeah. And um, uh, we drive trucks, but I don't know. Did, didn't he have a Tesla truck? It seemed like he did. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Uh, but uh, I can't give up my Ram. I cannot give up my Expressway Ram. But uh, but anyway, that uh, that newsletter. All we need is your name and your email. That's it. If you want to give us your address, phone number, whatever you can. That we're not. We don't sell them to anybody or do anything uh, with the emails other than use them ourselves. And uh, and so we, you won't have to worry about getting anything from anybody else. Uh, we are caught up on the books. I signed 650 uh, last Thursday, where I went about four days with getting about six hours sleep total, and in, in about well, three or four days. But uh, we got we're caught up on all the books, all the uh, book orders. If you've ordered books, catch a better uh, catch a better life book. Uh, in the last few days, uh, it'll be there in just a day or two. We're shipping them out the day those orders come in. Um, we have spinner baits in stock. Uh, we're having a hard time keeping up on red man spinner baits, particularly white. That's a very very popular color. We have spinner baits. We have rods. We have uh, our books. We have sunglasses. We got so you go to jimmyhouston.com and, and check all check all of that out. Um, our white deer, yeah, we've been getting just lots and lots of comments about those. They are absolutely beautiful. Um, they they are more difficult to raise than a regular white deer. So, uh, you know, hopefully we can keep them alive during the hot Oklahoma summer. Hopefully uh, Snow White has a couple of real pretty white babies. And my, my desire and hope is to be able to let those deer out. But um, uh, I don't know if that'll happen or not. Uh, Snow White is five years old. And so she'd probably have a hard time getting along in the, in the woods. They're not very camouflaged. <laughs> they would stick out like a sore thumb in the woods. So obviously predators would be able to see them from day or night pretty easily. And uh, the, the reason that albinos are raised in this country for the most part is simply to kill. 
I mean, that's exactly right. Um, they sell them, they breed them where they can get some really big horns, and it's quite a trophy because I don't care how big a hunter you are and how much money you spend hunting, and you might have all kinds of African animals. To have an albino buck that's got big old horns is pretty unusual, and it's quite a trophy, and uh, they, they cost a lot of money. They, they sell them to shoot in preserves, and, and uh, whatever happens to... Uh, Prince Charming and Snow White, however long we can keep them alive. Hopefully, Prince Charming will be able to get a, have a little love fest this fall with Snow White, and she'll have some of his little boys and girls running around out there around the yard, too. But um, but so she's not bred to him now. That's a different different babies when she has babies any day now, any day now, any day now. Babies will be coming pretty quickly. We'll try to uh, document as many of them as we can. We'll show you, uh, putting tags and we'll show putting tags in their ears and doctor them and show you what we do right there. Catch them in the pen. And, uh, hopefully we get maybe one or two mamas that don't want to raise them. We can get an orphan doe or two and maybe replace Lucy a little bit and maybe kind of, kind of fill that hole in my heart up just a little bit. Speaking of holes in the heart, uh, my son, Jamie and my granddaughter, Jordan lost Deacon this week. Y'all have seen Deacon on here quite a bit. Deacon was the dog that Lucy got after tooth and nail. I mean, she just got run him and whop him with her legs and he would never attack her or anything and never would try to bite her. And I think he just knew he wasn't supposed to, but boy, she would attack him. But he got really ill. They spent thousands and thousands of dollars in operations and vet fees and, and they, they still lost their dog. Uh, it's a shame when you do that, but you know, that's the same thing happens with humans. They spend, we spend hundreds of thousands of dollars with humans trying to keep them alive sometime and the doctors can't do it. And there's no refund, no money back guarantee. Um, and, uh, you know, if, if they can't, and they, they were not able to save Deacon and they, they bring him back home and he would get sick again. He'd go back and spend another day or two in the hospital in Tulsa. And, uh, and finally they, they did, uh, he got so bad and he got down and they, they had to euthanize him and, and, uh, but Deacon lived a, oh, he lived a good life for seven years. What could I tell you? And he was a a great friend to my granddaughter Jordan and a great friend to my son Jamie and, and my granddaughter in law Mandy. And uh when you lose uh, a pet like that, it's like a member of the family and uh and, and it hurts, you know. When I, I Jamie sent me the note, I called him and it was a sad phone call and it was sad for him talking to me, but uh, uh they they do become a part of our family. There there's there's no doubt about that. Um I uh Another, another, uh, thing I just wanted to talk about real quickly is, uh, is, is, is the babies. The babies will be coming soon. Uh, last year I looked at calendar. I don't remember the day we first had them, but it was like the first week in May, which is this week right here. Nearly all the babies were born in May, some in June, but nearly all of them in May. So we have 19 does in the pen. It's a good possibility we're going to have 30 babies. And then plus the ones that are on the outside too. Uh, those of you that are worried about the coyotes, we're setting traps for the coyotes this week. They're hard to catch. Hopefully we'll catch some, but uh, I don't know. Uh, before I, I get this little challenge out there, I've already challenged you to get at least one person in the month of May to subscribe to our Catch of the Day channel on YouTube. Uh, or those of you that are listening on Facebook, if you're not on that Catch of the Day channel, surely 20,000 of y'all can can get on there and, and subscribe to the Catch of the Day channel on YouTube. You will meet some amazing people, people that will love you. That's just, and that's pretty good right there. That That's it right there. That's pretty good. Irrespective of what I say or do on there, those people loving you, it's worth getting on the Catch of the Day YouTube channel. Um, but uh, <clears throat> this next week, I'll be out on the road again, going back to Pennsylvania. This will be three straight weeks that I've been in Pennsylvania. They all let me vote up there. They let a lot of people vote in Pennsylvania, particularly Philadelphia, that are not American citizens. I know that. So I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm just going to throw that out there. So they may let me vote in Pennsylvania this year. And uh, But anyway, I'll be there in Pennsylvania again. I'll be in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. By the way, <clears throat> we had several people come to Linesville uh, First Baptist Church of Linesville. We had several people come from Pittsburgh. They come from 100 miles away, 150 miles away to be there at that event last night. And I appreciate y'all so much for that. Uh, some people that all I knew them by was their name. And, uh, but when they come up and told me their name and, 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 uh, golly, John and Debbie and I just, I had several of them. Uh, it was so, it's just so gratifying. And, and so many people there last night. Uh, knew all about everything going on on social media. And I just love you to death. I'm telling you, it's just like, it's so great. But we will be in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, um, at a DAS, um, show. DAS is a big distributor. They sell Love's truck stops and 
I know Flying J and all these truck stops, they sell a lot of convenience stores. I'll be there working for Turbo Power. Turbo Power is a an energy drink, health drink, immune drink that I've been drinking for about the last, I don't know, 10, 12, 14 years. And, uh, and we, uh, we've had a, a deal with them uh, over the years, helping them at truck stops and things, mostly in the trucking industry. But uh, they're kind of expanding out into, into things other than uh, truck drivers. Uh, truck drivers drink turbo power, uh, and they just sort of drink an ounce of it every day. They carry it in their trucks. They buy 32-ounce bottles of it, which will last, uh, you know, obviously last a month. You're doing one ounce a day. And it helps them pass their driving tests. It keeps them healthy, keeps them alert, keeps them immune from a lot of the things that go around, like viruses and flus and stuff like that. Keeps them healthy where they can drive because a truck driver is like a tournament fisherman. If you ain't out there fishing tournaments, winning some money, you ain't getting paid. And, uh, and, and if they're not driving that truck, they're not getting paid. So they don't have time to get sick. They don't have time to have colds and all of that. And so Turbo Power and, and most of those guys buy it on a monthly deal where they just charge your credit card, uh, you know, 29 bucks or something for the month and they, they send them a, a bottle every single month. And most of them, after a while, their wives will start drinking it also because it helps their husbands and he feels so good. But we will be there working for Turbo Power at that DAS uh, convention in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. I'll be there on, I believe, on a Wednesday, Wednesday only. So those of you that are going to the DAS convention, be sure to look us up there. Come by the uh, Turbo Power Plus. Come by the Turbo Power booth. Uh, we'll be giving away uh, free sample drinks, I'm sure. Uh, I know that I've worked several of those before over the years for Rocky and the trucking industry, and we've always, always given away drinks, uh, free drink samples uh, there during the show so they can drink it, and, and they'll notice in just a, an hour or so, they'll come back and they say, wow, I feel great. I can't believe how, how that is. Sometimes some guys would come in with pretty bad hangovers, and I'd say, here, drink an ounce of this, and they'll take and take a sample of it. Then they'll come back an hour later and say, man, I, I can't believe it. My headache's gone. I, I, I feel great. So, I, And I'm not, I'm not saying those of you out there that have hangovers, that's what you need to be doing. But uh, it can be sold for that purpose right there because I've seen that happen several times. A lot of people get at these shows, and they just kind of get carried away at night. You know, they're at the shows. And speaking of shows, we will be over in Branson, Missouri. Uh, I think that is uh, June 9, 10, and 11 for the big, and this is a great show. This is a great show. We worked at several Super Rigs, Super Rig show put on by Shell Rotella. And they'll have all those big trucks over there. And I mean, dolled up trucks, fancy trucks, lights, chrome, fantastic interiors, everything will be. I think we're in a parking lot at, we're in Branson Landing, but I think a lot of those trucks will be in the parking lot for our Bass Pro Shop store over there. So uh, I will probably spend more money than I make for those three days over there because we got a Bass Pro Shop store there. And you know, I'll be in there buying stuff. And uh, I, I, the other day I went fishing this past uh, Monday with an umpire, a, a college umpire. I've been umpiring for 40 years, getting ready to retire. And uh, uh, one of my uh, buddies, uh, Skip Johnson, the baseball coach at the University of Oklahoma, and they're playing right now, by the way. They beat uh, Kansas two, two games in a row, and they're going for a sweep of the series with Kansas as I do this right now. And uh, but Skip Johnson called me and uh, he said, "Have you got that blind umpire in the boat with you?" <laughs> so uh, so he he knows him really well. We'll be having that fishing trip come up here pretty soon. We caught a lot of bass. We had a great day, and uh, we actually got to eat a couple of the bass he caught. I'll just tell a story on him right now. He was having a difficult time feeling him. Was catching them on lucky strike worms, some of the new hydro worms. He was catching a lot of his on lucky strike lizards, the new lizard that hum uh, lucky strike came out with. And uh, he was having a hard time feeling. It was a really, really light bite, very light bite. And he had, you know, a few fish during the day that would swallow the hook. Now, we're fishing with barbless hooks, and so usually you can turn it out. But we had a five-pounder that we got the hook out of, turned it loose, and it bled quite a bit. It died, so I picked it up, put it in the live well. And uh, we had a three-pounder. So I actually filleted a five-pound bass and a three-pound bass. And, uh, and uh, uh, Miranda had never cooked a fish and never caught a fish in her life. And, but I told her, I, well, I caught that, that one, we come in for lunch and I had the five pounder and I filleted it and I took the fillets up there and we had key killed another one that afternoon. And, uh, it was a three pounder and I filleted it and took the fillets up there. And I said, Miranda, I said, do you want to, uh, you want to try to, uh, you want to try to cook, fry those fish tomorrow, uh, and for lunch. And when Pat's here and, uh, Pat was there two days, but runs my production company and Pat Turner. And, uh, she said, uh, she said, I'll, I'll try. Maybe I'll get Chris to help me. And I said, you can get Chris to help you. You needed to go to the catch, cook, and clean video. I think it might have been the one we did with Richard Gene, the fishing machine. And um, if you're not subscribed to Richard Gene, the fishing machine, 
If you're not subscribed to his channel, go subscribe to that. It's a, he's great. He's great. He's a great friend. He's a tremendous fisherman. Fishes for crappie a lot. Uh, he fishes, he's a good bass fisherman, though, too. He fishes local tournaments over there in Alabama. And the furthest he's ever been away from home is Twin Eagle Ranch. I promise you. That's what he told me. I don't think he's been anywhere since, baby. But, uh, but Richard Jean, the fishing machine, we did a, I think that's the one, but we've, uh, we've done a couple of catch, clean, and cook videos. And actually, Miranda, Miranda watched that video and followed Chris's instructions. And now I'm not saying they were exactly like Chris's fish, but they were really good. Pat and Chris and I, and even Miranda ate them, and she didn't eat meat. I've never eat fish, never eat fish, other than fish you buy in a cafe or something. But uh, but but we had a, we and Beamer loves them. Beamer loves bass fillets. And so uh, we just had a, only two fish, but a five pounder and a three pounder creates a, a lot of a lot of fillets. Chris cuts them into little, almost like a couple bite sized small pieces. But, uh, so, so we had a, we had a great, great fish fry there with that. Miranda did a, did a good job on that. But here's my challenge for you. Here's my challenge for you. Those of us that are Christians, those of you out there that are believers, born again believers, uh, you have make Jesus Lord of your life. You put him first in everything you do. Get fired up about what you're doing. Um, light a fire, light a fire. I was listening to us to the song the other day, light a fire in my soul. Fan the flames and make it glow. Uh, and man, I'm telling you, I listen to that song and I just start jumping up and down. And I'm telling you, one of the things we need to be doing, we need to be thanking God for everything he's doing in our life every day. But we need to be fired up to the point where if you don't even mention Jesus's name anytime during the day, people around you are going to say, man, he's got something going. He's got something going. Just see how fired up he is. See how, what a smile he's got. What joy he's having in his life. What joy she's having. What a precious lady she is to be around. I just love being around her. She's got something going. And some of them will ask you, man, what do you got going anyway? You just get married or something? Or you just get a raise? And no, I got Jesus in my heart. That's what I got going. And I'm telling you, if, if you just get fired up about Jesus, you light a fire in your soul. You can't light it. Ask him to strike the match. Ask God to strike the match. That's right. Ask him to throw a little gasoline on you and put a little spark and light a fire in your soul. Light a fire. So I'm going to challenge you all of you this week to be more excited about the God that created you. And I rambled on a long time. This has been a long one. I know y'all not going to watch it all. Uh, probably ought to break it down in two pieces, but I don't know how to do that. Only Pat can do that. So it's going to be one long deal. So those of you who stayed to the end, thank you so much. Remember, I sure do love you. And those of you who stayed to the end, I love you even more. <laughs> Guys and girls, have a great one. I sure do love you. <laughs>